Why is university governance reform needed? Public university governing boards exist to serve the people of their states, so it should be easy for the public to know what those governing bodies are doing. However, university governance isn't always as transparent as it should be. Often the public is given little advance notice of when and where meetings will be held and what issues will be discussed. In North Carolina, for example, meeting times and agendas for the University of North Carolina's Board of Governors are often sent out a mere two or three business days ahead of time. It can also be difficult to get in contact with specific board members. Both individual email addresses and physical mailing addresses are often unavailable. If opportunities for public comment are offered, members of the public must sign up in advance of the meeting. However, the time frame to sign up for public comment is often unspecified. The UNC Systems website, for example, vaguely says that the next opportunity to submit comments will be in advance of the upcoming meeting. The Nevada System of Higher Education is similarly vague about when public comments will be accepted. Since the pandemic, the UNC system no longer holds in-person public comment sessions. The University of California system, on the other hand, allows public comments to be made in person, by phone, and written comments can be sent to a designated email address. Fortunately, the pandemic helped increase governance transparency as governing boards began live streaming meetings that hadn't previously been available for remote viewing. Some schools even recorded and posted those meetings publicly online for later viewing. Before the pandemic, if people wanted to know what happened during a meeting, they either had to go in person or rely on secondhand accounts. Another positive practice adopted during the pandemic was the policy of conducting votes by roll call. Taking votes by roll call and later recording those votes in the meeting minutes ensures accuracy. This is also valuable for in-person meetings. Unfortunately, as universities transitioned back to meeting in person, some of the gains in transparency have been abandoned. Those practices should be restored and made permanent board policy, along with additional transparency measures. The stewards of public universities should be eager to be as open as possible with the people they serve. Good board governance requires transparency. The Martin Center recommends that legislatures, university boards, and faculty governing committees take steps to improve the transparency of governance at public colleges and universities. Universities should make staff and board members' email addresses easily accessible online, make board members' office or university mailing addresses publicly available, record and post online all publicly held meetings, including committee, subcommittee, and special meetings. Make meeting notices available to the public at least one week in advance. Make meeting minutes publicly available as soon as they are approved. Take votes by roll call and provide them online in the meeting minutes. Provide orientation and ongoing training for board members. A lot time during full board meetings to hear public comments. Policymakers should require that universities adopt transparent and responsible governance practices as previously detailed require governing boards to have their own staff person, attach public boards to the institution, not the institution's private foundation, require that foundations attached to universities be subject to public records requests, improve the internal process for preventing and identifying conflicts of interest among board members. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.